Hey, have you ever felt like your hands are too small for a chord or the piece you play right now is just too difficult for your left hand? Maybe you have tiny hands like me or maybe they are just not as flexible as you want them to be. Either way, you can fix it. <laughs> My name is Beatrix and in this video I want to teach you the basics of stretching as I see it so you will be able to reach any difficult chords or difficult positions on the classical guitar, for example, uh, something like this. I will show you two stretching exercises and will explain the theory behind them. Let's get into it. So, imagine you are at this position with your second finger and you want to reach F sharp with your first finger. What you probably want to do is to uh, stretch, obviously, and maybe to raise your elbow a bit like this, at this angle. And it's uncomfortable, even a bit painful, but <laughs> you hope your hand will get used to it in time, so you just squeeze your butt and try to get over it as soon as you can. <laughs> but I can tell you, you couldn't be more wrong. As you can see, I reach my limits pretty fast if I, if I try to do it this way like this. Uh, so it's uncomfortable, it's difficult, <laughs> it looks weird, so there has to be a better way, right? Imagine you try to lift up something really heavy. You won't only use your pinky, but you will grab it with your hands, and you also will use uh, your upper arm, your shoulders, even the muscles of your back. Why? Because bigger, stronger muscles are more reliable than smaller, weaker ones, obviously. So, same goes for classical guitar, same goes for, for playing the classical guitar. Mm, when you want to stretch, when you want to reach a chord, or when you want to reach a note, you won't only use your fingers, but you will uh, provide the strength from your bigger, more reliable muscles. Makes sense, right? Now, check this out. Did you catch what I've just done there? Okay, so I only pushed a bit forward my elbow. Uh, please try to make sure uh, your wrist doesn't go too high. So something like this. I'm here and push just a bit. Not like this, but this. It's so simple and easy. It's not. Please do not try to fully copy me since we have different hands, we have different technique. So just try to understand the theory behind it and try to catch the essence of the idea. So try to fit it into your technique which you use already. Okay? So now let's see those exercises. But before we move forward, if you like this video, if you think it's helpful, please subscribe on the channel and like and everything, so it helps me a lot and it's totally free. Now I show you the two exercises. We will start with your first and second fingers. Elbow. forward and push forward and you want to do this with every finger so one two two three three four one four two what okay uh, just read it it's here <sighs>
what just happened here. You will use your elbow to lead the movement. You will use your shoulders to provide the energy and uh, you don't want to uh, raise your wrist too high. And that's it. Now you know everything. <laughs> In this next exercise you will use seven chords. You will move your fingers, fingers by fingers, like this. You will use your elbow and your shoulder, just like before, but you also need to know each time is your support finger. Which finger holds the weight? It's just like walking, but instead of two, you have four legs now. each chord you have to uh, release all the tension of your hand. Release. 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 And this goes on. So as I said, you will use all the knowledge you got in the first exercise, but you will add the information that you need to know each time, which is your support finger, and you have to release all the tension of your body, or all the tension of your hand. If you can manage to practice just a few minutes every day, you will see results very soon. But don't forget, it's not enough to practice only these exercises, but you have to put this knowledge into the pieces you play right now. Right? So try to practice mindfully and each time you feel uncomfortable, just ask yourself, can I play this part with less effort and how? That's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. This was my first video of this kind and if it was helpful for you, please consider to check out my Patreon page because from 25 Patreons I start to make uh, instructional videos regu regu regularly. <laughs> I also go live on Twitch on every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so if you want to hang out, just say hi into the chat and leave a comment about any technical issues you have so I can get inspiration for my next videos. <laughs> And I don't know, just check out my other videos here on YouTube as well. Thank you for watching and see you next time.